managed to get to Tony D'Orazio. I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long have you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. <laughs> this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, Eventually, it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they don't give me any more at the motel. What's taking so long? Huh? I've a month. What a month? What are you whispering for? Fuck Tony, all stomach. That's fucked up, man. I gave him six months. Yeah. At least. Get out of here! Somebody screaming? What the hell are they running from? Maybe I should get out of here. This fucker died already! Come on! Just live to see month two. It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. 
and they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. Durazio made his very generous contribution to your campaign, it was based on promises... Shit. Right now? Okay, okay. Here's what I want you to do. Follow him. See if you can get any pictures of him in the act. Then get your butt right back here. Yeah, yeah, a hundred like we... Mr. Drazu says there's a $50 bonus for every picture with a council. Taking cover! Now you're done! Can't fucking move! Come get me, boy! Switching out ammo! Uh, I'm knocking down! Got this down! This way! Ain't hey, no way you're getting past the This boy. spade... It's cutting us down!
I think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> The streets of our fair city as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up, and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up, and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal, and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. with this Humphrey asshole, right? Who's Get your guns on that goddamn elevator! Get up and see if he's still in there! Wait a second. Hi! Sorry. Is that a gun? Downtown cops in our pocket. You got it. Razio just kissed the pavement outside the Royal Hotel. Downtown is ours. Cabal construction in the sham work sites, the Imperial, and all the limp dicks who owe the mob money, we own it all. Did just like you, Ash Lincoln. All the action in the district is running smooth and the money's coming. Now all I need is the official word and we'll settle in permanently. I appreciate you getting someone else to lock down this turf while I got shit up and running in our last district. But now I'm ready to take this part of the city too. So that's where you were? All right. Well, if you want to send it our way, we'll keep it running and making money. Think long and hard about this.
This turf's going to the Irish. You're a goddamn genius, lad. I'm gonna call this if no one else will. So are we done here? All right, that's it. We're done for now. saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. <laughs> 